Meet Emily. She needs to work on the new company website with Olivia and Ethan. Here's how she does it in Lark. In the marketing team's chat group, she clicks View Calendar and selects the team members who are attending the meeting. She can see all three people's schedules side by side right from the chat window. She then picks a time that works for everyone and creates a calendar invite. She books an available conference room and writes up a short description of what the meeting is for. If Emily is on the go, she can do this just as easily on her phone. From the calendar event, she clicks Create Meeting Notes, which generates a Lark doc with a meeting notes template. The doc comes pre-filled with the meeting's title, date, attendees, and agenda, so she doesn't need to manually type these in. The doc is also automatically shared with all meeting attendees. Within the doc, she can tag another doc, insert images, and upload a video, which readers can play right within the doc. She can create a chart and upload files. Readers can preview or download these files at one click. She can also change the order of these sections by simply dragging them around. From the calendar event, she clicks Create a Meeting Group. This brings all of the meeting's participants into a chat group together in the Messenger tab so that they can start the conversation even before the meeting. Looks like Olivia is running a bit late. No problem. Emily sends a quick emoji reply. If she clicks on the View Meeting Notes button on the right, she can pull up the Meeting Notes doc right within the chat window. It's now time for the meeting. Since this is a remote meeting, Emily launches a video call with her colleagues at one click, right from the group chat. There's no need to send around meeting IDs or links. A meeting invite is also generated in the group chat, so all members know that a call has been started and can click on it to join. Livia is now sharing a doc which the team needs to go over. Notice that what Olivia is sharing is not her screen, but a Lark dock. If Emily is calling in from her phone, the dock is automatically adjusted to fit her mobile screen. Emily is already familiar with the materials and wants to see the rest of the document. She clicks View on your own to scroll the dock at her own pace. When she wants to know where Olivia is currently at, she can just click View with Presenter to jump to the part that Olivia is currently presenting. Emily is now editing the shared doc right within the video call window. She can insert a chat group in the doc so that readers can join the group by just clicking on it. Yep, that can also be done on the go. Everyone can edit the doc simultaneously, right within the video call window. Emily can also tag her colleagues and choose to send them a notification via Lark Messenger. When she has a question about a specific detail in the doc, she adds a comment and tags Olivia in the comment. Olivia receives a notification in her chat feed and replies immediately. The comment feature allows them to have a conversation about a specific detail in a doc. She can reply to comments just as easily on her phone with either words or emojis. Thanks, Olivia. At the end of the meeting, the participants draw up a list of action items and assign owners by tagging those teammates and setting deadlines. When the deadline is approaching, a bot will automatically send a reminder alert to the teammate in charge. Emily then inserts a poll in the doc to get people's quick opinions on the vendor selection. 
Emily then sends this doc to the marketing team's chat group to give her colleagues a heads up on the progress. With one click, she can give all group members the permission to edit the doc. By clicking on the green pie next to the message, she can see who exactly has read her message and who hasn't. She can also pin the doc so that it doesn't get swept away by future messages. All the pinned items are here. Emily now needs to apply for the budget for this website renewal project. She goes to the Workplace tab and clicks on the Approval app, where she fills out a form about the budget request. She can clearly see that it's her manager, Ethan, who needs to approve it. Ethan will receive a notification from the approval bot in Lark Messenger. If Ethan is taking a long time to approve the request, Emily can send him a reminder with one click. That sends Ethan another notification in Lark Messenger. He can view all the background information and can approve the request with one click, even when he's on the go. Great, all approved and ready to go. Lark brings all your work into one place. Start using Lark for free at LarkSuite.com.